hello my dear students so today i am going to teach you communication and network concepts okay it is also one part of your syllabus 10 marks question you will get from this so let's see the important concepts of communication and network concepts okay so let's begin let's start our class So one of the things you are going to do here, what is the computer network, evolution of networking, how do you discover it? terms used in networking, different switching techniques, transmission media, different types of network, network topology, network devices, communication protocol. Okay. These are the very important concepts you are going to read in this chapter. So tell one by one. So what is the computer network? So computer network or simply network is a collection of computers and other hardware components interconnected by the communication channels that allow sharing of resources and, and information. Okay. So <clears throat> a computer network, it is a collection of the computers. Okay. If, uh, means multiple computers connected each other through a network. Okay, and other hardware components interconnected by the communication channel. Different channels are available through these channels, uh, computers and different hardware components like printer, scanner, server. Okay, all the things are connected also. Then it is total known as a network, computer network. Okay, this is the example here you can see. A client server network they have given server is here and these are one on client okay and all are connected to a single network so what, why we need this network what are the advantage we are getting from this so first thing we can share our resources okay whatever the resources we have in the different computers different uh, files different data different uh, printer device, hardware device, software device, everything you can say uh, within means among each other, um, however the computers, okay, are connected to the network. That means suppose 10 computers are connected in the network. So you can share the data within the 10 computers, okay. So first point, you can you can share the resources of the printers and scanners. You can share data and access files from any message. Software can be installed on server instead of each machine. Okay, so software instead of uh, installing in every machine, we can download uh, instead in the server, then it will be shared. You can communicate with each other via email or chat. Okay, these are some advantages you will get when you are in a network, when your computer is connected in a network. Disadvantage expensive setup. This setup is required some money. Unsecure. Okay. If any data lost, then it will be un unsecured. Complex and sophisticated to run. This uh, system is very complex. Okay. There are uh, many things is required to set up this type of connection. Then rapid spread of computer viruses. Okay. If one computer have some virus enter, then it will be rapidly shared with the other system also because you are sharing the files from a different computer to another computer. So within that, the virus also there, okay. Depends on the main file server, how the server is, how the server is catching the data, okay. So these are some advantages and disadvantages of the network. So go through it, okay. Maybe there's some question, two more question. What is the network, okay, and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Briefly, we can write down this one, then we'll get two marks. Then evolution of networking, how the networking concept came. First one is ARPANET, Advanced Resource Project Agency Network. It is a project sponsored by US Department of the Defense. Okay, from the Defense, uh, US Department, they have uh, given one project. Planned in 1969 to connect computers at US Defense and different universities. So they are the Defense Academy and different universities, they want to plan 
planted in 1969 to connect some computer. So in 1969, the first term came ARPANET, Advanced Research Agency, sorry, Project Agency Network. Then in 1980s, NSFNet, National, okay, uh, I think, one minute, okay, so we are discussing this one. So NSFNet stands for National Science Foundation Network, okay, NSFNet. Then in 1990, the internet working of ARPANET, NSFNet and other private network are resulted into the internet. Okay, so in 1969, which one came? ARPANET. 1980, NSFNet. National Science Foundation. Then by combination of all the things ARPANET, NSFNet and other private network resulted into internet. Then we got internet, 1990. So the internet is the network of interlinked computer of the networking worldwide. Worldwide, we can connect with each other. It is a super network. Connect many smaller network together. Okay, how the internet is formed? Many smaller network, they will be connected with each other. Then internet form. Allow all, all the computer to access the information with each other. You can share the information. Use the set of protocol that is called TCP IP. We will read this one. Protocol, what is that? We will read that. Okay. Then how the internet is functioning? If we see the function of the in internet, firstly the information of file sent to another computer is divided into small parts that is called packets. Okay. Whenever you are sending any file through WhatsApp, Facebook, whatever, okay, that message should be break down into small parts. That is that small part is called packet, and each packet have some sequential number one, two, three, and the packets are sent to the address of the destination computer. Okay, so the packets are sent to the address of destination computer. So the computer, every computer. When it is connected to the internet, it should have an IP address, internet protocol address. Here, so you know that from which computer you will send and to whom you will send. So the destination computer address you, you have to, okay, you have to collect and you will send. And the destination computer receives the packet randomly, randomly they will get. And the packets are rearranged in their correct order and get actual information in the file. They will be uh, automatically rearranged in there. Some protocols is there. They will be rearranged it and they will be, means send you to in a particular order. First, it will be reached to you randomly. Then it will be automatically generated in a particular order in a particular file, informational file. Then the complete file, when it will be uh, rearranged, you can able to download it. Clear? Then interspace. Interspace is a client server software program that allows multiple users to communicate online with real time audio, video, and text chat. Okay, in the 3D environment. So you can communicate online with the real time audio, video. Okay, and text chat, dynamic 3D environment. Provide most advanced form of communication. Used for interconnecting spaces to manipulate the information. So these are the things. Then, what are the different terms you can use in the network? First is nodes. Okay. Node means which any device is connected to a computer network and share the resource. That is a node. Okay. Then server. So a server is a computer designed to process the request and deliver data to other computers. Server is the main part, central half, like this. Every data is present in the server. Then when the client will be connected, they can take the data from the server. Another one is network interface unit. So a network interface unit is a computer hardware component that connects a computer to a computer network. Every computer connected with a network must have an NIU installed unit. Okay, 
you can see this device must be there inside the computer. If you check the computer, this device must be there and it have one socket RJ45 connector. Okay, there. The point is called RJ45 connector where you plug in the where and you get the internet. So one network interface card is there and this it will be generated there in the motherboard. Then different types of switching technique. What is the switching technique? It is a mechanism for moving data from one network segment to another. Okay. Through this switching technique, you can send move, move the data from one network segment to another network. There are three typical switching techniques: circuit switching, basic switching, and packet switching. Okay. So what is the circuit switching? Directly connect the connects the sender and the receiver in, in an unbroken path. Here my point. It will be directly connect the sender and receiver in an unbroken path, physical connection circuit. Telephone switching equipment establish a path, connect the caller's telephone to the receiver's telephone and making a physical connection, landline connection. A complete end-to-end -end path must exist before communication can take place. Okay. So whenever we are doing any telephone line communication, previously we have seen the landline communication. From the caller's telephone to the receiver's telephone, there should be an end-to-end -end path must be exist. That is called circuit switching. Then the data can be transferred. Data can be moved from one segment of a network to another segment through circuit. That's why it is the name is called circuit switching. Message switching, same thing with the message switching, there is no need to establish a dedicated path. Okay. There should not be any dedicated, dedicated path, so physical path. When a station sends a message, the destination address is appended to the message. Okay. When anyone sends a message to any other uh, computer, the address should be attached within this. And the message is then transmitted through the network. It is entirely from the node to node. Node to node, it will be from one node to another node, it will be transferred. Each node receives the entire message, store it in entirely on disk, and then retransmit the message to the next node. Okay. So first, suppose uh, one message will send to five nodes, five computer, five client. Then first it will reach to the first node. It completed first address. Okay. Then it will be a given uh, notification to the sender that first node has already got the message or whatever the data you have sent. Then it will move to second node like this. One by one it will be off. And this type of network is called store and forward network. Very important point. Remember this one. If the question will arise, short question, short answer question, which network is called, which switching technique is called store and forward. Okay. Store and forward technology used by which switching. Then the, your answer will be what? Message switching. Hear my point? Then come to packet switching. Packet switching places a tight upper limit on the block size. There, the message is divided into smaller number of packet. Specify a fixed size of packet which can be transmitted across a network. Improve the performance as the access time is reduced. All the packets are stored in the main memory. Throughput of the network is improved. Okay. So if we see the better one is the packet switching. If we compare the circuit switching, message switching and packet switching, the better one is the packet switching because the whole message will be okay, broke down into different packets and it will be sent by one, one by one packets. It will be easy for the sender and receiver to get it, to receive it properly. Just. Then transmission medium where you can send the data. Okay. Your guided media, unguided media. Guided media is called wired media, unguided media called wireless media. So in the guided media, we are using twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, optical fiber cable. Three, three types of cable we are using in the wire. Wireless medium, radio waves, micro waves, satellite link, infrared wave, laser. Okay, just remember this thing. They are not going to ask you particular things. They will ask what are the different guided media, unguided media should be used. Okay, what is the transmission medium? Then you can elaborate this, this thing. If they ask about twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, it is also there. You can see here. Okay. Read this one before going to just one uh, look on it. Okay. I'm not discussing it now. 
comparison okay what are the uh, speed of the data transfer rate data transfer range interference susceptibility cost of the cable so if we see which is the better optical fiber cable more than 100 gbps data you can transfer there is no data range limit interference interference okay there is there should not be any interference is there cost of cable very expensive okay in if they will ask you in in the place of cost okay if you compare the cost then which one is better than uh, twisted pair but uh, performance wise it will be optical fiber so, then micro waves radio waves satellite infrared laser these are the some medium where you will share the data then types of network based on the geographical area local area network metropolitan area network wide area network you can see group of computers and network communicate device interconnected with geographical limited area such as a building or a campus within an office within a building we can connect which one LAN. that's why it is called local area okay key purpose is to serve its user in the resource sharing so within a building we can connect all the computer through network then all the people can share the data easily that is the use of local area network metropolitan area spread over a city for example cable tv network your star cable okay or a different cable you are getting that is the example of what metropolitan area network purpose is sharing the hardware and software resources among its users that everyone can download this application and they can use that tv television and they can broadcast different channels okay due to the uh, that cable wider network spread across the country group of lands that are spread across several locations and connected together to look like one big land facilitated fast and efficient exchange of information okay so the largest one in an existence is called internet so one is the biggest internet it, it is called internet okay the biggest internet largest one in the existence is called internet it can share over the country spread across the country through a different land technology uh, whatever that we can connect to the land we can connect to different country they have given some difference between land and one remember that they can ask you uh, two mark questions okay in two mark question they can uh, give you right two difference uh, three difference between land versus one so land stands for local area network one stands for wire network if uh, uh, it will be spread over within a building or office but uh, one can spread over one country operates between one and one and ten mbps operates at speed less than one mbps okay speed is more in land complete ownership by a single organization owned by multiple organization very low error rate compared to high error rate okay in the one because it is spread across the different countries okay the network topology so the topology is the physical structure of the network how it will be look like it is called topology Arrangement of the various elements of the computer or biological network. Physical network. Point to point link. There should be point to point link to the computer. Star topology, boss or linear topology, ring topology, tree topology, graph, mesh, fully connected. Okay. So first you can see star topology. In star topology, one central hub is there. It is called hub central controller and all the computers are connected nodes are connected boss linear one backbone network linear network is there means cable is there through the cable it will be connected okay of uh, then ring in a ring type it will be connected okay one computer or one node having two connection at a time in the ring topology also in the uh, we can call it mesh uh, mesh topology not not but in the ring topology one computer having connected okay either connected to two computers at a time so start topology if they ask about start topology it is using my central controller hub and all the nodes are connected okay boss one linear cable is there there all the computers connected fully connect 
connected okay fully connected means there are several technologies are using with, with this tree topology it is it is forming some hierarchical structure one client under one client different computers are there main one from main one two different is there from here it is forming a tree like structure okay so here they have mentioned you can see here advantage disadvantage boss topology see this one ring software topology take the screenshot okay graph mess so main topology will read the ring they can ask you in the question boss start topology boss topology this three they can ask you okay so take this screen, screenshot of the start topology boss topology and ring topology Chalo. then these are the different network devices modem rj45 connected ethernet card hop switch router repeater rings gateway you can see this is the hub router switch okay uh, a nice card rj45 connector repeater Chalo. So modem is a very important question they can ask you what is modem, what is the use of modem, very important question. Okay, two more questions, three more questions. So computer device that allow you to connect and communicate with other computer via telephone lines. Okay, it is uh, using, convert the digital data from your computer into analog data, it is called modulation. Two process, modem stands for modulation and demodulation. Modulation is convert digital data to analog data. Demodulation is analog signal again back in digital data. Demodulation. Two types of modem is there. Internal modem, external modem. Okay. Internal modem is there within the computer, fixed within the computer. External modem connected externally to a computer like other devices. Okay. So how it, it is working? When modem is powered off, ready to transmit the data, it will declare the data set ready signal to the terminal. Under the terminal control, the modem dials up the computer on the other and the computer will send back the specific code. Okay. They have written something, but you will write whatever. Okay. How it is used for modulation and demodulation. Then what is RJ5 uh, connector? Stands for register jack 45, 8 way connector used to connect computer and Ethernet LAN. Okay, one RJ5. Uh, jack is there, connector, that will be connected, 8 to a connector it is, okay, so Ethernet card, it is a LAN architecture developed by the Xerox Corporation along with DES and Intel, used by BOSS or Start Topology, and data transfer rate is up to 10 Mbps, main one is hub, in computer networking, a hub is a small, simple, inexpensive device that join multiple computers together. It is work at a physical layer in OSI mode. Hub include a series of ports and that each accept a network cable. Okay. Hub is a central controller. Multiple computer is connected within. Two types of hub. Active provide signal regeneration. Passive hub no signal generation. Okay. So these are the hub switch. The small hardware device that join multiple computer together within one locality network. Within one LAN, it will be connect switch, multiple computer, one network only, one local network. There should not be separated. Responsible for transmitting the data in a specific way and forwarding packet between the LAN segment. Support any packet protocol. Okay. LANs which are segment through switches are called switch LAN. Okay. There are some switch is there. It is segmented through a LAN. It is called switch LAN. Router, device that works as a bridge, can handle the different protocol, okay, different protocol they can handle, improve the performance and reliability. First, you just logical address the, and then, then you just physical address. If the destination is not known by the router, it sends the traffic to router which known the destination, okay. So, router will be work on the different protocol network. So, whenever you will connect from a switch, you will connect to different router. Switch will be the different port. In one port, you will connect to the router and it, you can segment this one to different. 
ओके चलो रिपीटर इट इज डिवाइस दैट एम्पलीफाइज एंड रिस्टोर द पावर ऑफ ए सिग्नल बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड ऑन द नेटवर्क ओके इट एम्पलीफाइज द सिग्नल चेक द सिग्नल इज कमिंग प्रॉपर्ली ऑन कैन बी इंस्टॉल्ड अलोंग द वे टू एंश्योर दैट द पैकेट्स रीच द डेस्टिनेशन और नॉट यूज्ड इन लॉन्ग नेटवर्क लाइंस two types of re repeater amplifier and signal repeater bridge it is a device that lets you link two same networks okay two same networks they can be connect each other same network means network with the same processor in performance gateway network gateway is a computer which has internet working capability joining together two network that uses different base protocol okay bridge can also connect to a protocol but means two devices same protocol but gateway you can connect to devices different protocol okay so gateway is node on the network that provide entry to the another network chalo then protocol what is a protocol set of rules for a network here here the computer we are uh, reading computer network so the communication protocol description of the rules and the message format computer must follow to communicate with the each other. so what are the different main uh, protocols is there ftp ftp ttip very much important they can ask you any one question you will get from this what is http what is the role of http what is the role of ftp okay or tcp ip this is very much important i am telling you again and again so http stands for hypertext transfer protocol it is used in the website okay whenever you are designing any website the every website follows http protocol has lightness and speed necessary for distributed share hypermedia information systems application level protocol generic test stateless not required allow use an open ended set of methods to indicate the purpose of the request okay see the set of request from the browser to server set of response going back to other so it will be various built in request method by which the user can read a web page store a web page remove a web page so in the website every website follow hypertext transfer protocol whenever you are getting the request okay from in the browser it is also http protocol whenever you are sending the uh, again response it is also http protocol ftp transfer file transfer protocol you can transfer any type of file specify whether the file is an ascii or binary file okay advantages of course tcp is very important protocol transmission control protocol or internet protocol it is using in the internet working protocol whenever your device is internet whenever you are sending anything data through the internet the tcp ip protocol will help you so this is protocol okay takes care of the communication between on your application software and your network software and ip will be take care of your communication with other computer that means address ip part they will take the address tcp they will take the data okay the data is reaching properly or not or it is responsible for breaking down breaking it data down into ip packets before they are sent so whenever you send the data must be divided that is the role of tcp and from whom they will be sent address it is the uh, work of ip internet protocol address sleep serial line internet protocol okay point is one protocol this is not that much important but just read it so so this is the various mobile computing okay that means video conferencing what is video conferencing what is email okay voice mail chat these are you know already so just take this screenshot they can ask you what is wll very important question okay wireless in local loop one and subscriber to the public switch network pstl public switch telephone network okay 3g sms email to no email voice mail video conferencing okay 
So that much, that much only. They can ask you telnet, telecommunication network. Okay, web browser, web server, website, web address, web pages, your URL, domain names, web hosting, HTML, XML. They can ask you. So, what are the important things you will read in this chapter? First one, network. Advantages, disadvantages. Okay, first question. Second one, types of network. LAN, LAN, one topology, network topology. So which topology is important? Star topology, boss, and the ring. Then fourth question, uh, network devices. Okay, switch, router, grids, gateway, hmm, that much hard. Okay, clear. Then fifth number question. Uh, it is your uh, protocol. What other protocol is important? STTP, STTP, IP, FTP. Very much important. Sorry. Okay. Then come to. The important question you will get 10 mark question from this chapter. One question will get case based question 100%. I am telling you case based question you will get. What is the case based question? I am showing you just one minute. In one minute, I am showing you here. Here, the question is on your screen. You can see four mark question you will get from here. Read the text carefully and answer the question. Okay. They are set, set one, secure network for their office campus, for their day to the office, and we have best activity. They are planning to have a connection between three buildings and the head office situation. You can see here. Okay. This is one office. This is another office. This is the head office. This is the branch office. Okay. Now, they will be give you the distance between the you can see here in the further campus they have three buildings Ravi, Ganga, Jamuna. So they have given the distance between this and number of computer installed here. Okay, this data is available for you. You can see. Based on that, they will ask you for question. Okay, suggest the most suitable place to house to survive or organize also give reason to justify your location so where you see more number of computer is there there you place the server okay so building zamuna okay then what type of network will form if all buildings are connected if all buildings are connected what type of network will form Suggest the placement of the following devices with justification. Okay, which device will connect? Switch or repeater? If switch, why? If repeater, why? And the organization or question. Okay, if this question you will do, otherwise, why? Planning to provide a high speed link with the head office, especially in the Kol Kolkata, using a OAT connection. Okay. Name the cables will most suitable for this job. So the head office in Kolkata, they are planning to have a wire setup in their campus. So which cable they will use, either a twisted pair or coaxial or fiber optic, optical fiber. Okay. So like this one, 100% you will get this type of question and four mark here. And another six mark, you will get one two mark question. Okay. Six, another I think, uh, sorry, two two mark question and two short answer questions. You can see here. Other questions you'll get from this networking. Let's see. Other questions you'll get from this chapter.
CSMCA. Okay. So carrier sends multiple access collision avoidance. Two uh, things is there. One is your CSMCA collision avoidance. Another one collision detection. Okay. CSMCD, CSMCA. So it, uh, it is called carrier sense multiple access. If C A is some avoidance, D is called or the detention. Then we can only get from this after. Any other questions? Okay, so like this, you will get some questions from this. So I think you understood this one. Okay, so this is all about uh, today's class uh, related networking, different concepts, uh, protocols, that uh, different uh, devices used in the network. Okay, then different types of network. What is client server network? What is peer to peer network? Uh, very much important question. Uh, you can see here, let me ask you what is peer to peer network? And what is client server network? Okay, In two types of networking here. Peer to peer network means the same computer work as a client and server same computer okay suppose you are working on a computer your all the data is there so whenever you need it in data you will use this one this, this one should be your client and server suppose in your home you are using one computer that is called peer to peer network connected client server there is one server is there and multiple clients will be there and whenever any client need anything they will ask to the server that is called client server network there yeah, i think everyone Okay, so these are some questions. What is web browser? Okay, web server, video conferencing, websites, web pages, these are the things. You can get some questions from this also. Telecommunication network. It is a uh, communication in the network through remote server. Okay, so they can. Uh, write your address and they will connect with you that is called telecommunication network okay. so url inform resource locator domain names different names given to different websites like uh, commercial website.com okay organization.org like this that is called domain names we are hosting whenever after uh, your completion of website you post to the internet that is called we are hosting html hypertext markup language xml Extended markup language, dynamic HTML, dynamic hypertext markup language, web scripting, scripting, there is a scripting language like JavaScript, VBScript, will be used for scripting. That means uh, applying different conditions on a form, on a HTML program to uh, make your program very, make your uh, design very interactive. Scripting language. So thank you for the session. Okay, again, I will be uh, come back after. In the next class, we'll some sample question with you. So be ready for this. Thank you. Bye bye.